Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient who's 63. They had a knee injury, not a bad injury, but uh, they had knee pain since that along the medial side. And we see here that they have thickening of the medial collateral ligament. This is a coronal T1 sequence looking straight at the knee, and we see the medial collateral ligament comes up. It's thickened anteriorly, so just a sprain of the MCL, and this can heal on its own, not a big deal. And they also have another finding here, but it's a little more subtle finding, and this is something that's commonly missed. I think I, at the beginning of my career, have missed one or a couple that I've seen on follow-up MRIs, and uh, so I look really carefully for these. So this is the lateral meniscus here looking great. Medial meniscus looking great. We have that sprain of the medial collateral ligament. And at first glance, things look great because there's no marrow edema. Bones look great. We see the menisci, lateral meniscus, medial meniscus. The bodies look good. The anterior horns look reasonable on those. You go back to the posterior horns, look pretty good here. Posterior horns, and then we're going to go to a sagittal view. Look at the same thing here. And the sagittal views. This is the lateral meniscus, anterior posterior horns. Jump across the midline to the medial meniscus. Medial meniscus. You can see the posterior horn, anterior horn. There's no meniscus pseudo extrusion. Here we go. This is a sagittal medial meniscus. Anterior posterior horns, meniscus body. We're going to jump to the other side now. And on the other side, lateral meniscus looks very good. Coronal PD fat set views. Posterior horn lateral, posterior horn medial, and you run through meniscus body. And everything looks pretty good. But now if we look a little bit further, you can get tears of the medial meniscus root, and they don't have uh, much in the way of bony uh, changes. And unless the meniscus body is pseudo-extruded, they're really easy to just jog past, like in this case. So this is a good example of a tear of the medial meniscus root that just doesn't stand out because that meniscus body is in normal position. When they have a tear there, often they'll get a loss of hoop stress, and this will just drift outwards and displace the MCL, but they don't have that. So we have to look really carefully, and on this view right here, I think this is the tear of the medial meniscus root. Looks halfway decent here. It looks pretty symmetric, but on this one view right there, it should come down and attach. Just don't see it very well. On this view, you'd be hard-pressed to call anything, but right over here, we don't see a nice dark band coming down, but still, this would be very difficult to call it on this view alone. It's a, a low-field MRI scan. Now, in this view, we see the posterior horn. We're going to go towards the meniscus root. Here's towards the meniscus root. And on this view, it should flatten out and attach right over here, but instead, it's a little more anterior to the normal position. This is the PCL. Usually, it attaches on this side of the PCL, but instead, at the level of the PCL, we see it here sort of towards the front, which is not quite normal. And here we see it again, posterior horn, next cut over. And this is where we should see it attaching. And instead of attaching nice and broadly right here, we see it uh, anteriorly displaced. So a really subtle finding of a medial meniscus root tear. I believe you can see it best on this. The other ones are not terribly convincing, but here we go. This is the posterior horn coming across, and you should see the medial meniscus coming down attaching right here. Instead, we see this glob of brightness, and here's the posterior horn, so really subtle. So I'd look really carefully on all these things now at the medial meniscus root because they're one of the most common places to have a meniscus tear, and they can be easily missed, like in this case, unless you're really looking hard for them. And I just remembered the uh, why I know this so well or study this so carefully. There was a an orthopedic surgeon's wife had one of these. We did an MRI, and then uh, she still had pain, and three months later she came back, and the tear was just a little more obvious. She had a little bit of uh, pseudo-extrusion, and in retrospect, originally she had a tear right at the meniscus root, probably just like this one that I had missed, and so it was really embarrassing to go back to that surgeon and say, hey, uh, on the original exam, I missed your wife's uh, root tear. So anyway, so I look really carefully here, and uh, you should do the same thing. Thank you so much.